Who are the angels? Why did Allah order the angels to fall prostrate before Adam? What is the reason for the enmity between Adam and Iblis? Why did Allah banish Iblis from his court, Al-Arsh? Viewers, today we will try to find answers to these questions. I am Rufai Dupani, Central Women's Secretary, Hizbut Tawheed from Bangladesh. I would request all my viewers to watch this video till the end and give your valuable feedbacks. What happened when Allah created the first human, Adam? We get an idea through the Holy Quran. Many narrations are found in other doctrines, scriptures, but as Muslims, we believe that the Holy Quran is the perfect and the unchanged narration. If we combine the descriptions of Surah Baqarah, Hijr, Araf, and others from the Quran, we get a broader picture of what happened when Allah created humans. I will go over the main points once again. Allah created a human called Adam from the soil. Before that, all his creations were made with a single command, Kun or Be, and it was created. But only Adam was created with his own hands, extreme care. Then Allah breathed his spirit into Adam. This was a very significant event because there was no spirit, Ru of Allah in other creations, not even in the angels. But Allah gave His Spirit to man because, as I said in the previous video, Allah created man as His vicegerent or representative. He is an extraordinary creation of Allah. As soon as Allah breathed His Spirit into Adam, Adam became a unique creation. The qualities of Allah came into Adam, albeit in small amounts. It is like donating a single drop of water from an ocean. Chemical analysis of that drop of water will show similarities with the ocean. But a single drop of water can never create a massive tsunami like an ocean. The most notable thing is that one of the attributes of God that came to man through his spirit was free will, which the angels didn't have. The angels are natural forces each with different responsibilities and they carry out those responsibilities flawlessly. They cannot disobey Allah for even a single moment. For example, the force of gravity is an angel. It is holding everything together. It cannot suspend this responsibility even for a day. But when Allah breathed his spirit into man, free will came into him. As a result, he can either accept Allah as his sovereign or reject him. This is exactly what Allah wanted to test. What would a man do? Would he willingly accept Allah as his or would he deny Allah when given the opportunity? However, then Allah ordered the angels, all of you prostrate before Adam. Many of us think of prostration only as touching our heads to the ground. Prostration does not mean touching the head to the ground. Prostration means to surrender oneself, to obey. In fact, Allah ordered the angels to be engaged in the service of Adam. Today, we see how all the natural forces are serving humanity in a wonderful way. The sun is giving light, the fire is giving heat, the air is giving oxygen, the trees are giving fruits, and the rivers are giving water. Allah has assigned this responsibility to, to them at the time of their creation. Anyway, let's go to the main discussion. When Allah ordered the angels to prostrate before Adam, immediately all the angels prostrated themselves to Adam, except Iblis. He said, I am made of fire and Adam is made of soil. I am superior to him. Why should I prostrate before him? In other words, Iblis refused to obey Allah's commands out of arrogance. As soon as he refused, he became a disbeliever and an outcast. Allah expelled him from his presence, Al-Arsh. A question may arise. Angels do not have Allah's spirit or free will. How could he disobey Allah's command? The answer is that although Iblis was granted the status of an angel, he was not an angel. He was in fact a jinn. 
It is said that Iblis had worshipped Allah for many years. He had attained the status of an angel. However, by refusing to bow before Adam, that is, by disobeying Allah's commands, all of his worship became worthless. Allah cursed him and expelled him from his arsh. Viewers, what have we learned from today's discussion? We have learned that Iblis became a disbeliever and an outcast simply for disobeying one command of Allah. Yet, we as humans disobey countless commands of Allah. We have rejected Allah and made our own way of life. How is that possible? Leaving aside the issue of other people, how could we Muslim people forget the sovereignty of Allah? The Holy Quran is the collection of Allah's commands. But we rejected the Quran's commands and follow man-made laws and regulations. Yet Allah has clearly stated in the Quran, those who do not judge by what Allah has revealed are disbelievers, kafirs. How can we hope for paradise? May Allah open our hearts to understand the truth. That's all for today, dear viewers. Remember to subscribe to our channel to get our next upcoming video and click on the bell icon to get notifications first and stay connected with us. Saying goodbye for today. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Thank you.